What's going on there folks? Good evening Earthmaster here checking in on this May 25th 2021 date 8 30 p.m. West Coast time uh, here in California with the latest quake a 2.5 up here in Alaska. Quite a bit of deep movement returning to the area of Fiji with uh, quite a few of those earthquakes there below the surface uh, right around 550 feet 550 miles or so or kilometers, I'm sorry, 550 kilometers. Let's go ahead and check out the latest information here from the USGS uh, on these earthquakes here, out here in the Pacific. You can see right around the Tonga and Fiji area, some significant uh, deep movement there, 574, 592 kilometers below surface. That's pretty deep movement there uh, in that area, so keep an eye on that region. Taiwan getting in on some of the activity up here as well. You can see a little cluster of quakes here with the upper magnitude fours uh, throughout the region of Taiwan. Uh, also some further movement uh, south of Japan, but uh, nothing significant there at the moment. Uh, also Chile region seeing some deep movement into the area of the Peru Chile Trench. 106, 112, 100, uh, 205 kilometers for a couple of these earthquakes here indicating some deep movement down there uh, below the surface. North America aside from that 4.1 in Oklahoma. Uh, things out here on the west coast relatively calm uh, far as the all magnitudes map go you can see a little bit further movement down around the Ridgecrest and the San Jacinto fault area also a little small earthquake showing up over here uh, on the coast range of the uh, San Simon area other than that uh, things pretty quiet folks including the trimmer map you can see the uh, trimmer activity dying down for the most part not a whole lot of uh, significant movement uh, at the Cascadia level uh, at the moment but Nonetheless, uh, things are still kind of uh, just kind of keeping an eye on the region. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, what is the super flower blood moon this uh, early morning, early morning hours. Uh, I did find a map to bring up here and show you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and check that out. That's a little tiny. That's really tiny. Can you guys see that? Let's make that a little bit bigger there. Okay, so this is for the U.S., the states here. Kind of gives you an idea of where the uh, t totality is going to be you can see in the darker uh, areas with the lights right right around the city lights there is the totality anything after that further east talking about uh, looks like uh, part of Louisiana Arkansas eastward uh, eastern Kansas and Nebraska eastward all not going to be uh, all that visible because it's going to be uh, right around sunrise and it's going to be the sky is going to be pretty bright anything west of that line you got a, a pretty good um, opportunity to see this awesome eclipse there that's going to be uh, um, spectacular i mean it's a super moon uh blood moon flower moon whatever you want to call it and a total eclipse uh it should be pretty awesome i'm going to be getting up at about three o'clock early morning tomorrow early morning so that i can see it and videotape it uh unfortunately i can't stream it because i don't have the streaming software for my uh my zoom camera my i got a nikon p1 uh p900 here's for the west coast folks my time 4 20 a.m gonna be mid eclipse the partial eclipse uh begins at about 2 45 a.m my time um so i'll be getting up around three be able to see it uh as it's starting uh and of course mid eclipse 420 totality is less than 14 and a half minutes uh, but still should be pretty cool so if you're up and about uh, around that time tomorrow morning, I would, uh, I would definitely get out. I would definitely go out and see it and view it. Uh, if not set your alarm clock, definitely get up so you can, uh, you know, check out this. I wouldn't say once in a lifetime thing because it does happen, um, often, but not super often. Uh, I think the next one might be in, uh, November of this year, but I'm not for sure. Um, but it should be quite the event to check out. Once again, um, that map right there shows the totality areas in the uh, left side of this image. Left side of the image showing that, uh, you know, what looks like city lights and whatnot in a dark scene uh, is the best chance to see the, uh, the awesomeness in the sky tomorrow morning. So get out there and check it out, folks. I'll be posting up some pictures and whatnot. Uh, solar storm, folks, it's still on the way. It's kind of dwindling. Um, there's still a uh, G2 class potential tonight. So far, nothing really picking up on the KP indexes. Everything looks minor. 
Uh, but we're still, we're still, they still issue that watch, folks. So we'll see what happens uh, as this event comes in with the eclipse of the moon and whatnot. Uh, should be pretty cool to see uh, any uh, potential effects here on Earth. All right, guys, have a good night. We'll chat you later. Um, and uh, make sure you stay safe out there. Peace out.